everyone, Lord of Flames here, and it's been a month since nothing is happening for the sixth movie on Tula's Night Saga, since it's a sequel to The House of Red, Bio Resurrection. How would this lead up after what happened? Ever since Jenny and Christian were being captured by SCP Foundation and being locked away, never seen again? What will happen to those two, in which I already told you about it those months ago, on one of that video, on what will lead up to all these sequels, and what will happen to the characters. So we only have two characters left that we always know, because we remember what happened to William, Mike, all those characters who died for all those chapters, for all that, and they tried their best to stop evil, but failed. In which those type of sequels are only for the villains to win this time. But the House of Fred, it's time for having new heroes, new characters, who will try their best to stop evil. And they did. They did stop Michael, which is Jenny and Christian. But it kind of failed a little bit when they get captured. But what will happen? Like, Jenny has those type of powers, those supernatural magic or something that's uh, connected to our father, Michael, who is mostly something else, because remember what happened in the, the Demonizers movie I made a while ago? When you saw that scene, that final, when he just randomly grow a new arm. Because that's something that would explain in the... Remember when I did the Solar's Night, the beginning, that prequel, the story that behind all of it, and scanning part two. But anyways, explain about that, that... If you get too much damage, your body becomes a little bit muted, not rec recognizable as a human or anything. So we give him the new arm. But why it wasn't shown in the House of Fred? Because two sequels for Demonizers will explain about it. Or why or how he lost it. And those type of things are similar. Before he turned into a spring trap, before into a monster or whatnot. Because Jenny has those type of things in her. But not her brother, because he's like a normal human. But she has like those. She's like a half human and half monster, like his, like her father. So something going about her story will lead up, but not in Bio Resurrection, because we're going to a different type of idea, like a rebooted type of version that's not focusing on the same characters we always know, to a new, different story, to something new that we never get to see. But it's still connected, it's still what happening what in the House of Red. Because by the resurrection, it's something new that I wanted to have for this movie. To have new characters, new enemies, new locations, something to explore. Because I want this full length animation movie for having these characters to explore around our locations, searching for clues and solving what's happening. And that would lead up to this. Well, Bio Resurrection, well, just because I want these new characters, like I said, to explore around everything. But even having something new that's a little bit somewhat connected to the previous movies I did. Because, what will happen to Michael if he's coming back? Well, he'll have him like a. If I had spoiled, probably not. In which you might already know. Because. So it's night. Like because. Michael was. Used to be. The main villain for all. For this. Saga. Right? If he is. If he's dead. That would be the end of everything. That would be. The House of Red would be the final. Right? Well he'll make his. Last. Appearance. Cameo appearance perhaps. So. Does that mean Michael will come back? Probably. Or maybe not. So. Like I said. It will be all of that. But. I want this full length animation movie. To just. Explore around other locations. That I never done before. Because. Other places I always used to. Um, go to the same locations. And that's it. Like in my previous movies. Funnest phrase. Just a restaurant. But a little bit more moments in Mike's 
I forgot his name, but it's somewhere around his town, his neighborhood. And Fast Bear Fright, the original, before the remake. Which is same thing, same idea. And the third movie, which is a prequel, 1983, same idea. But a little bit added to it. Only a little bit to ex expand new things. And the fourth movie, Last Night, just a few things, just a, a small neighborhood. And a little bit going back to familiar locations, but a little bit remastered to make things a little bit short. And changing up the Fast Bear's Fright look to something, something else. And the fifth movie, The House of Fred, which is a short one, which is only explored a bit for the house. And 1983, Fred's Bear's and Friends Family Diner. But what will the sixth movie will be? What will lead up? Well, then there will be more idea that was added in the script. So there will be a large mansion and a facility, labs, and cities, towns, a bar, and a police station, and sewers. Yeah, so, well. Even a train station. And that's it. More locations being added. Which make this movie much more longer. If it would lead up to one hour I hope. Because in that script I work. Even. I forgot his name but still. He did amazing for working on a script. Because that that amazing writer did amazing. Because I I need. There's got to be doing about a war thing on YouTube. Like. Academy Award or something, you give this award to a writer or a movie maker or something like that. Like how we see in those uh, shows, those uh, awards for all the workers who did their movies or to the cast. Something like that. Because you need to give an award to this guy. I mean, come on. Give him an award. Because he did amazing for those characters the way how they acted. Because me, I give them like, because they're almost a little bit acting a little bit like robots. I think because I'm not really good at adding uh, emotions to the characters. If I had to just tell the actor to just take three takes or five takes with different emotions when they're talking, that's how I would do it. To make things easy for this movie. And so, is Jenny going to come back? Yes. Not for this movie. To another one, but what will her story will lead up to that move to that or sequel? Well, she has those type of powers. It's not like she'll become like a superhero like in Marvel or DC thing. No, it's not gonna be like that. She'll use it a little bit if she needs to control it to control this un this supernatural power or something that was in her. And so, will she ever meet? The main character, Alexander, who is the main character of this movie, was important to those two characters. Well, if you might get in the comments, go ahead, comment down below, because I haven't seen any of your comments. You can't just, like, watch a video and don't, and leave without any comments. You can, you can comment down below, folks, go ahead, don't be shy, because I'm fine with comments. Cuz remember how you see those popular videos I made a while ago that had those plenty of comments? Cuz I know one of my, one of my popular videos, which is animated Purple Guy's Death. In which that was meant to be for the type of Minecraft style in animated version, but that didn't go so well for me because I was kind of lazy in that time. But now if I had to do my animator, I would might. I wonder how many views that would wake up. If I had to sing, if I had to use the same audio, or there had to be a, what am I talking about this? What am I talking about that? What am I talking about those videos? <laughs> Anyways, I know you all like that trailer, which you've been waiting for months. If you might have a feeling the trailer will just show up next year, no, 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 because I truly wanted to release it this year, and I like it too. Just to give you all a little bit excitement. 
So that's how far I got. I don't want to show it too much for too much fight scenes or too many good scenes that are a little bit important for the script. But just to let you know, those scenes in the trailer, those are the only scenes I only have made for this year. Because I haven't made any more animation scenes yet. Because I haven't gotten any replies from the voice actors because I know they're busy at their schoolwork. I know it does. If they would have a chance to do some in the weekends, just weekends. Because if they're busy at the week type of things for school, they can do they can do voice acting for the weekends. That's it. That's fine. So by the resurrection is kinda of much about the same difficult problem like the soul of Michael. The waiting for animation to be done and gang voice actor to add their voice lines and that's it. Yeah, it's the same thing. So does that mean that chapter 6 is the most difficult one? Well, chapter 7 I have planned is it's going to be so, so difficult. Because this one will be much more bigger than this movie. If you know what I mean. More locations, more characters, more fight scenes, more enemies, more everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not much of a funny guy, though. But anyways, folks. I know you're all waiting for this movie to come out. In which I was planning on having it for this year a little bit. But I know I need time. I need time to fix everything. Get things set up. But no release date yet. If I was thinking about releasing it for summer or somewhere around April. Or rather, doing Halloween special. October 2021? Not quite. I don't know which month I will release it. So, I don't have any release date yet because I don't want to show it. I don't want a release date yet. I need time. Like anyone would do in their movies or games. They need time. Like how Free for Free just went and accidentally showed the release date. Well, it, it's only holiday 2020. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's all I gotta tell. Because I don't want to show it or explain things too much to show the leaks. But, I might give you this one. Just in case. Enjoy. God, that's got to hurt. Huh? Where the hell am I? Are these cams? If so, I just hope everyone else is alright. 